As we know, tons of people decided to do renovations during the pandemic and came up against some challenges. As we head into yet another year of this reality, you might be wondering what you'll be up against if you decide to do a reno now. That's what I'm thinking, because we're thinking maybe now's the time. Well, the bro laws are back to answer your questions and let us know what to expect. I'm going to start with this, and it's a question I ask a lot of people. It's a loaded question. What is it like being a contractor during a worldwide pandemic? And are you okay? Like, how are you doing? <laughs> Tracy, we are extremely blessed in that a lot of people have lost their jobs and been highly affected from this. We have been busier than we have ever been, which comes with its own challenges, but we are very blessed throughout this, other than dealing with supply chain issues and increased costs. I mean, we're, <laughs> we're managing. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, so what can homeowners expect if they want to start a project right now? Again, like we said, we're busier than ever. So a lot of established companies are booking at least four, six months out. And a lot of companies are even already booked for their entire year. And then expect those supply, supply chain issues uh, to hit home with your renovation as well. Unfortunately, we saw it last year with the lumber uh, and how much that affected our industry. And now we're seeing it trickle into other aspects of the industry as well, like electrical supplies, plumbing supplies. So this is a problem that hasn't gone away quite yet. So if you are planning a renovation, it's better to start planning earlier than later because you're going to have to wait a while to get it going. Yeah. Okay, so this isn't specifically for you guys, but why are we not getting answers back from contractors? Like if we're ready to start a project, how come we're not hearing back? And this isn't for you, but for any contractors out there who are just not answering, why? No, Tracy, this literally is for me. Uh, <laughs> this one hits home hard for me. I'm the first point of contact for our company. So when people are sending in an inquiry, I'm the one that's reaching out to them to contact back, to get their information, to get them an estimate and try and get things started. But we've just been so busy and especially heading into the Christmas months there into the holiday season. My mental health took a real, real hard hit um, with trying to keep everything going and in line for our clients with our open projects, trying to be home with the kids and be an active parent in their lives, and trying to manage the influx of amount of emails that were coming in. It was very overwhelming. And when things get overwhelming, we know that things get neglected. And unfortunately, sometimes those new inquiries are those things that ne get neglected. And it's not that you're not a valued customer to them. It's just that contractors across the board right now are completely overwhelmed with the amount of work that is out there and trying to maintain the projects that we have open. So if you've gotten the referral for your contractor from a friend or family member and you know they do good work, just remember, have a little bit of grace for our poor Davey. Let him get back to you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have so much grace for you. And I think a lot of folks are taking a moment to pause because it's getting to be too much and it's been too much for many months and and this is you know in many different industries so we hear you we feel you we're there for you here's a question for you though is it a red flag if you contact a contractor and they get back to you within seconds like does that mean that person is not popular <laughs> so <laughs> it's a tough one because honestly we were there at one point they could just be a new contracting company like we said the business is booming right now so I think you are seeing a lot of fresh companies get started up uh, but because they haven't been around for very long they don't have that word of mouth their name hasn't been passed around as much so they may have that availability when we started the company we would be finishing one project and we'd be a week away from wanting to start the next and we wouldn't have it booked yet so we had that availability ready there and I mean I think you know by now we do pretty good work so <laughs> it's just a matter of their name not being popular yet so the big things here we like to say is if they are readily available make sure that they have the proper insurance in place for their company make sure they're covered by WSIB and then if you can get a referral for one of their past clients and you can actually talk to them to find out what kind of work they do can be really really important yeah and find out if they're as good at singing and lip syncing videos <laughs> here yeah. Yeah, because if they're not, like, why are you hiring them? I don't, I don't know why. Yeah, um, that's the point. <laughs> let's talk about, let's talk about the money, honey. Um, and this is probably a supply and demand situation. But why have the price of renovations? Why does it cost so much more now? 
Yeah, like everything throughout this pandemic, everything's gone up in cost. Lumber is fluctuating in cost probably more than cryptocurrency at this point. Yeah. It's insane. It's all over the place and shipping containers have also gone up in value. So anything that's being imported is up in value. It's just costing that much more to get done. The other thing you're seeing is, especially in our area, with the cost of living going up, that means the cost of labor has to go up as well. So these contracting companies are having to pay themselves and their employees more to keep up with that cost of living. So you're seeing the increase there as well. Okay, what can we save money on and what should we be splurging on when it comes to a reno right now? Yeah, any renovation has its variables. There's definitely things that you don't want to skimp out on and those are the things behind your wall like your insulation, maybe even your roofing or windows because those are the things that are going to keep the renovation looking good on the inside. But in the inside, if you're doing a kitchen renovation, you can use stock cabinets, which still come in a, a few different colors and a few different profiles, but you can be a little bit more limited to what you can do in your kitchen. So having that open mindset with your budget to be able to play with it. It's very similar once you get into a bathroom renovation as well. So those things behind the walls, the insulation, the waterproofing, all that stuff you have to spend the money on to make sure it keeps looking the way it does when it's finished. Uh, but there's a lot of variables in there as well. You can get a three to four hundred dollar vanity from a box store or you can pay eight to ten thousand to get a custom vanity built. Uh, you can have a wide variety of tiles. So there's definitely just being budget conscious when you're going through it with your contractor so that you're making sure they know what's important to you for where you want to spend your money. And then when we get into the outside as well, you have that same variety. So here we have just a regular pressure treated deck board. This is kind of the standard that you still see in a lot of builder homes, uh, but then you can upgrade. You can get up into a PVC or a composite deck board that's going to last a heck of a lot longer, look more beautiful, but is a more of an initial investment. And outdoors, something you do not want to skip on is your railing. Nobody wants to be staining a railing, sanding it down. So if you are doing a project, make sure you get a nice solid aluminum railing product. This one, Regal Ideas, comes in multiple different colors, profiles, anything you want so you can really customize your backyard. So don't skimp on your railing. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, thanks guys. We appreciate the tips and we appreciate you. So thank you so much for giving us this, uh, <laughs> this information and uh, talking about some of the harder renovation questions for the